God speaking. Jesus is speaking. And he says that the only way that you will be cleansed from the decay and the death of this world is by his word. When the word of God penetrates through the heart, you receive holy strength. Let me say that. <laughs> You'll know that he's cleansing you because you now can say no to the devil. You now can battle with the enemy and he knows that he's no threat to you because the word has cleansed you and given you the ability to resist and not only resist, watch this, see him. This is why Jesus tells, told the disciples when he was getting ready to be betrayed and he was getting ready to be um, taken captive by the Roman soldiers, he told the disciples to watch and pray. He, he wanted them to, 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 to come with him so that they could pray because Jesus knew that in order for them to stay at a place of seeing what was going to happen in the spirit realm, that they had to have that hunger birth inside of their hearts. But when Jesus went back to see if the disciples had prayed, the disciples had fallen asleep. And then when the, the, when, when the captives came to arrest Jesus, the, uh, the, the captives came and took Jesus and Peter took his sword and cut off the Roman soldier ear. Because Peter was operating in the natural. He was trying to fight the enemy with his naturalness. Because he had missed the ability to see in the spirit realm and recognize the attack of Satan, the word that comes to you. He cleanses you and he allows you to see your enemy. This is why we have to maintain our garden because everything that was created was created by the spirit moving, the word being released, and light revealed. Let's go to Genesis chapter 1. This is the creation of, of, of earth and everything on the earth. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. And the Bible opens up and it shows you how God moves. God has not changed his method of operation. He still operates the same way of how he operated in the beginning. Verse 1. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And watch what then takes place. We see the operation of the Spirit of God. Watch this. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Now let's just deal with this. We see that the Spirit of God moved. Somebody say move. The Spirit of God moves. And I want you to understand this very carefully. But the Spirit of God only moves to a heart that has an appetite. The word goes to the heart that has that heavenly divine hunger. And we see the state of the earth that was completely void. And it was dark. And it was empty. But we see the spirit of God moving. Because the spirit of God always tries to move in search of a ready vessel. So he, so he, 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 he tries to move to a ready vessel. And watch what takes place. The spirit moves, verse 3, watch this. In fact, hold up, let's deal with this. The spirit moved upon the face of the waters. Somebody say water. Water. Let's just deal with this. The spirit of God began to move upon something that was extremely significant and important. He moved upon the waters. And I want you to follow me along because 
understand. <laughs> good soil only can be good soil if there's moisture or water that has been submitted in the ground. So he moves upon the waters. Watch what else happens. Verse 3. And God said, let there be light. The next thing that takes place after the spirit moves, light was created. This is the same thing that happens when the spirit of God moves. When the spirit of God moves upon you, you'll know that he's moved upon you because behind him moving, there will be revelated word that comes to you. He said, let there be light. So you have him speaking light and him creating light. So you have him speaking something into existence and there was illumination behind the thing he created. And this is how he operates now. When the spirit of God moves upon you, word comes alive. Word then is released and illuminated within the heart. And watch what takes place when that happens. When the word goes in, watch this. Verse 4. And God saw the light and that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Let's just deal with that. The next thing after the light was created, we see that darkness had to flee. Because when the word comes inside of you, didn't we just say that it cleanses you? Uh, y'all, uh, Please follow me, y'all. When it comes, it cleanses you. Cleanses you from what? It cleanses you from that fleshly nature. I don't have to know your business, but I can tell you what's in you. Everything that the flesh, everything in the, uh, 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 that the flesh that 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 dwells in the flesh is in the flesh but when the word of god is released by the spirit of god you receive revelation and darkness comes out of you so now you can resist you can say no to the flesh the anger won't even bother you. The hatred won't even bother you. The jealousy won't even bother you. Lust won't even bother you. Low self-esteem won't even bother you. The things before that were so that was so in, that so ensnared you. When the word comes, the darkness is released. Because the light is there. Watch the next thing that takes place. Verse 5. And God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Now let's just deal with this. Verse 6. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. And let it divide the waters from the waters. And this is the clouds. The the, the, the clouds, he separates the water from the water. And it's interesting because I want you to understand something. Yeah. You have the waters in the cloud and then you have the waters that is on the earth. And so we have, it's, it's, just, like, it's just like a sandwich. I, don't, I want y'all to kind of feel me where I'm going with this because this, I'm just going where the Holy Ghost is leading me. This is what you have. He said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the heavens in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And this is what is taking place. Watch this. He creates the waters, the clouds. Then he has the water that's on the earth. So you have water up, up top, and you got water down low. Watch what he creates after the water. <laughs> Verse 7, And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was also so. Now watch this. And God called the firmament heaven in the evening and the morning were the second day, 
And watch what he creates after he creates the water. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. Follow me. Water. Watch, y'all. Watch. Water. And you know what he creates in between this water? Ground. Somebody say ground. Ground. Because this is a clear sign and revelation of how he wanted this ground to be fertile. So he has water on top and water below. And when the water was made, then he creates the ground. Because this is a clear 